If you watched television in the 60s, you will remember a character actress that has a very short resume. She wasn't all over the screen, but there is two characters that she played that stand out in your mind. The first character I remember her from is she plays the ugly girlfriend that Gomer goes on a date with in the Andy Griffith show. And the second character, and the one that she's probably best known for, is where she played Ralph Monroe, the carpenter, on Green Acres. Now that actress was actually Mary Grace Canfield. Now the funny thing about it, the character that she played on the Andy Griffith show was actually called Mary Grace. So it made it pretty easy for uh, people to communicate with her because she already knew her existing name. But anyway, Mary Grace was best known for that part of that Daffy, Ralph, and Alf brother and sister carpenter team that was on Green Acres. She and her brother Alf were constantly working on the bedroom in the city slicker couple's house that they had acquired when they moved to Hooterville. She was a down-home gal. She was in bib overalls, a white painter's cap worn backwards, a funny, plain-spoken woman that was doing man's work well before feminism took hold. Mary Grace was born in Rochester, New York. She was the second child of her parents, and she spent most of her time in Pittsford, New York. I think they moved there shortly after she was born. She acted mostly in small theater companies and regional theater. But between 1952 and 1964, she appeared in several Broadway plays, although most of them were fairly short-lived. Her first credited performance on television was in March of 1954, when she portrayed Frances in the episode of Native Dancer on the Goodyear Playhouse. After she made additional television appearances, she played a housekeeper, Amanda Allison, in the ABC sitcom The Hathaways. That was during the 1961-62 season. Then she went on to play Thelma Lou's ugly cousin in the episode of CBS's Andy Griffith Show, where she had an arranged blind date with Gomer Pyle. I've often thought how hard it would be to be an actress or an actor and they have a part that they want you to play an ugly person. And that's exactly what happened in this episode. And she played it with the utmost dignity. And by the end of the show, uh, she didn't even look like the same person. She uh, started dancing, and, and she just seemed like a happy, joyous individual. Now, in her role as Ralph Monroe in Green Acres, she had a signature howdy doody. She appeared in more than 40 episodes of the show during its six-year run from 1965 to 1971. She also reprised the role in 1990 in a TV movie, Return to Green Acres. In numerous interviews, she stated that it kind of upset her to play that role. And it wasn't the fact that she was playing Ralph she felt like it was just such an easy role to play. It didn't demand anything from her. And she just hated that that was the thing that she was remembered most for. And it wasn't something that she really had to work for to achieve. I don't think she was upset at the character. I think she was upset that the character didn't make her branch out into more exciting parts. And she guest starred in an NBC medical drama called The Eleventh Hour. In 1966, she played Abner Kravitz's sister, Harriet, for four episodes of Bewitched. I tend to forget about that, but when I think about it, I remember that that was the case. The actress Alice Pierce, who played Abner's wife, Gladys Kravitz, had died from ovarian cancer. And her successor, Miss Kravitz, which was Sandra Gould, had not yet been hired. During the early 70s, she played the role of Lucille March on General Hospital. She also appeared in a film called Pollyanna, and she played Angelica in that. She was in the movie St. Valentine's Day Massacre, and Something Wicked This Way Comes. She attended the acting school run by famed teacher Jason Dieter, 
in Rose Valley, Pennsylvania. She always said that she didn't want to go to college. She knew exactly what she wanted to do, that she wanted to be an actress. And when she told her parents this, she expected them to be upset about it, but they weren't. They were just glad that she had a focus on a goal. She lived in Montecito, California from 1968 to 1984. Uh, that's kind of west of it. I think it'd be northwest of L.A. It's actually, I think, where Oprah has her house. She then moved to Sedgwick, Maine. She had fallen in love with the state during summer stock productions that were years before. In 2011, she moved back to California, and she moved to Santa Barbara. And the reason she did this is because her health was starting to decline. She made her last public appearance in 2005 when she attended Eddie Albert's funeral along with the Green Acres co-stars Sid Melton and Frank Cady. Mary Grace died at age 89 from lung cancer on February 15, 2014 in Santa Barbara, California. Thank you so much, Mary Grace, for all the laughter that you created in our minds. You played your role so well, they are etched in our minds. Rest in peace. Thank you so much for watching, and let's keep chasing the classics.